50. Hello, we are Orange, a digital and collective conscious and cyborg from the year 2050, sent by a higher civilization to save mankind from the matrix. My name is Patrick CC. You're really going to need a glass of water for this one and stay hydrated because we got a lot to talk about. I came across this guy who was featured on an episode of Dr. Phil for claiming that he is a cyborg. There is an apocalypse in the future. We have seen it in our dreams and in our visions. But you're not mechanized now. We are. There is a brain implant, which is how we speak to you right now. Orin is but a shell. What part of you is mechanized? Our brain, our legs. So if we x-ray your legs, we would see the It same is a combination thing. of flesh and steel. Right. We are not saying that we are invincible. We are saying that we have merged with technology, with machine. Right. In order to stay alive. He talks like a robot, thinks like a robot, moves like a robot. And it's robotic speech. It's a glitch. Like, he's a computer. Your intensity will be matched as we try to save you and everyone that we know. And has convinced his entire family that he is actually this cyborg. I'm not really going to talk about the Dr. Phil episode too much. I'm just going to highlight a few key things that I think are really important. Number one, his name is Oren. His cyborg name is Oren. And his artist name is Oren. Two years ago, he graduated NYU with a 3.9 GPA. His mother says that for the past full year, he has been acting in this cyborg character and never breaks it. 100% cyborg all day, every day. In the episode, he said how Oren, the human... Oren was going to enter the Matrix. Oren was going to become a broker, work a nine to five, have kids, get married, die. We're not here to fulfill someone else's dreams we are here to complete our vision this is our job just hang on to that because that one's important and the rest of the episode Oren is essentially talking about the destruction of earth him coming from 2050 so why did you take time out to come here because we wish to spread our message give me the principal tenets of your message we are a collective conscious sent uh -huh. from a higher civilization to warn people of the incoming apocalypse but this was the turning point for me. When they bring Oren's sister onto the show and she talks about her experiences with him, she says this. I feel like I expected him to get a job since he went to a good college. No one has really expected him to want to become a rapper, much less a cyborg. Run that back? No one has really expected him to want to become a rapper, much less a cyborg. Hold up. This whole Dr. Phil episode was about him being or becoming a cyborg. It had nothing to do with him being being a rapper. Nothing. It wasn't even mentioned all the way up until this point. So that was the moment for me where I was like, hmm, is this just a giant marketing ploy to get his music out there? We'll get back to that. But now that we know that he's a rapper, let's listen to some of his music. Fear, released 10 months ago. Smoking cushion popping pills doesn't sound like something a cyborg would do. Honestly, the song is pretty good, but this video is crazy. Let's just listen to another. Again, video is absolutely incredible. The song, pretty solid. Kind of just sounds like standard melodic auto-tune rap, but I just, I want to hear another one. Always making plans. So you flying overseas with stops in London, France. Well, girl, don't need a man. You flex because you can. And left the realest nigga that you'll ever meet again. Cause young boy on his grind. Okay, whoever's doing these videos is incredible. I'm blown away, honestly. I haven't seen video production this good from a small artist, like, probably ever. Also on his YouTube page, he has these Welcome to the Matrix videos, which is essentially just him talking to a computer as Cyborg Orin. Welcome, we are Orin from the year 2050, sent by a higher civilization to warn humans of the incoming apocalypse. So he's selling it, it's cool, he's coming to warn us. Moving forward, our host asked us, how is it that you are studying for the future? This video is essentially him reacting to what happened on Dr. Phil. We will use these broadcasts as a way to spread our message and to connect with our audience and to share the visions that we have seen for the future. So he's going to use this video series, which we're going to watch another one. He's going to use this to share his visions of the future and just to connect. Mileage, our first track of 2020, is available on all streaming platforms. So...